In this video, we'll be looking at long division with two digit divisors. I'm going to work through six different examples. Feel free to pause the video at any time if you'd like to try these yourself before we go over the answers. Here's the first example, 192 divided by 12. First, we need to draw the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. First, we need to see how many times 12 goes into 1. As we can't fit 12 into 1, we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many times does 12 go into 19? 12 goes into 19 once. So 1 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 19 take away 12 is 7. Now we can bring the last digit down. How many 12s go into 72? 12 goes into 72 six times. So 6 goes at the top. So the answer is 16. Here's the next example, 3,495 divided by 15. First, we need to draw the bus stop. We put the number that we're dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. First, we need to see how many times 15 goes into 3. As we can't do this, we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many 15s go into 34? 15 fits into 34 twice. So 2 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 34 take away 30 is 4. Now we can bring the next digit down. Next, how many 15s go into 49? 15 goes into 49 three times. So 3 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 49 take away 45 is 4. Now we can bring the last digit down. And finally, how many 15s go into 45? 15 goes into 45 three times. So 3 goes at the top. So the answer is 233. Here's the next example. 306 divided by 18. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 18 doesn't go into 3, so we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many times does 18 go into 30? 18 goes into 30 once. So 1 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 30 take away 18 is 12. 
Now we can bring the last digit down. How many 18s go into 126? 18 goes into 126 seven times. So seven goes at the top. So the answer is 17. Here's the next example. 672 divided by 32. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 32 doesn't go into 6, so we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many times does 32 go into 67? 32 goes into 67 twice. So 2 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 67 take away 64 is 3. Now we can bring the last digit down. And finally, 32 goes into 32 once. So 1 goes at the top. So the answer is 21. Here's the next example. 2,912 divided by 28. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 28 doesn't go into 2, so we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many times does 28 fit into 29? 28 fits into 29 once. So 1 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 29 take away 28 is 1. Now we can bring the second digit down. 28 doesn't go into 11. We still need to use 0 as a placeholder, so 0 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 11 take away 0 is 11. Now we can bring the next digit down. Next, how many 28s go into 112? 28 goes into 112 four times. So four goes at the top. So the answer is 104. Here's the last example. 7875 divided by 25. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. 25 doesn't go into 7, so we need to chunk the first two numbers. So how many 25s go into 78? 25 goes into 78 three times. So 3 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 78 take away 75 is 3. Now we can bring the next digit down. Next, how many 25s go into 37? 25 goes into 37 once. So 1 goes at the top. Next, we need to find out what we have left over. 37 take away 25 is 12. Now we can bring the last digit down. And finally, how many 25s go into 125? 25 goes into 125 five times. 
so 5 goes at the top. So the answer is 315.